Good evening, Red Talks families. Hello and welcome to the episode 8 of our word series for the month of June. For the last seven sessions, we've been blessed with the word series and tonight is another night of revelation from our Lord. Episode 8 is about word of testimonies. So ask your friend beside you. Ask your family relative beside you. Ask your friend via text or via chat. Have you given out your testimonies yet? Your testimony about the goodness of God in your life? That is quite a challenging question tonight. We will learn and we will dig more about the word of testimonies. So that tonight, without further ado, may I call on our dear mentor, the pastor of Red Talks Families, Pastor Willie Chua. Magandang gabi po, Ate Marie, and to all of you. And we are excited that uh, we have another privilege of studying the Word of God and uh, magkwentuhan to talk about the Word of God and how we can apply the Word of God in our lives. You know, uh, life will never run out of problems and challenges. But uh, how we, what we focus on and how we choose to live depends on our relationship with God. And I pray that uh, we will live victoriously because we walk intimately with God. So I pray that, that tonight you will get a touch from the Lord, be filled with the Spirit, and be taught by the Word. Good evening, po, Brother Mel. Good to po, see you. Uh, <laughs> nice to see you, Paul. At sa inyong lahat po, mga... Red Talks. No? Yeah. So, pagkukwentuhan na naman po tayo. Uh, pagkukwentuhan po natin ang ating Panginoon at yung kabutihan niya sa atin. Yung tinatawag nating testimony. Lahat po tayo may testimony. You know? Kaya lang, hindi natin maikwento kung minsan yung buhay natin mm. o yung buhay nung kasama natin. Yeah. Na kailangan nating i-bless natin ang bawat isa doon sa mga pangyayari sa buhay natin na kung saan uh, binless tayo ng ating Panginoon. Amen. So Kuya Aldous, good evening. I know nagtataka ka bakit red, blue, and yellow daw tayo. Mukha tayong uh, uh, bans- bandila ng Pilipinas. Tama ba yun, Pastor? But more than the colors of our dresses tonight, of our clothes tonight, yung color po ng Panginoon ng pagkukwentuhan natin, ito yung salita ng ating mga testimonya. Testimonya in Tagalog is what, Pastor? Testimonya lang ba yun? Patotoo daw. Patotoo. Ah, patotoo. Yung pagpapahayag. O, oh, papahayag. Ah, mas Tagalog yun. Uh, Pastor, nang sined mo sa akin kanina, yung ah, kahapon, yung Revelation 12, 10 to 12, ano? we were reading it in English and Tagalog. And I'm sure itong si, si Ate Marcel, itong si Ate Jane, Maging si Sister Anita, sometimes she calls me, no? Uh, excited. Merong feeling of excitement kami, Pastor, kasi iba na naman yung angulo na ipagkakaloob ng ating Panginoon. Kasi we've been watching many YouTube, we've been watching uh, a lot of preachings, pero ibang-iba daw talaga, Pastor, ang revelation dito ni Lord sa Red Talks via you and by speakers, na ina-assign niya in every episode. So tonight, we're so excited. And as we move on, let us worship the Lord with a song. And I hope you guys, tatawagin na natin si nanay, si tatay, si ate at si kuya, at let's make it vertical. Yes, you listen to Pastor horizontally. Yes, you listen to Brother Mel horizontally. To me, listening to me horizontally, but Make it personal, make it vertical, and most importantly, make it intimate. Yan, take advantage of the presence of the Holy Spirit dyan po sa inyong mga tahanan. So let's 
Ask Pastor Willie first to pray and after he prays, we will sing a worship song. Okay, manalangin po tayo. Father, we thank you for this evening. Una-una po, for the freedom to worship you and to study your word freely and openly with no fear of arrest and persecution. We thank you for the freedom our nation enjoys. And we treasure this and we thank you for it. And so we want to make the most out of this freedom as well as the blessing of being alive in this generation so we can enjoy the technology through which we can preach to people from all over the world across different time zones and mm. even preserve this session so that people who cannot watch right now can watch later. Yes. Mm. Please, Lord God, we want to use it for your kingdom. And so we are thankful. And tonight we ask once again, we invite your presence in our midst. We invite the Holy Spirit to open up the word for us. Without yes. you, we can read the words and still be in the dark. But it is you who enlighten us. So we rely on you to teach us. Holy Spirit, you are the teacher. Teach us tonight. And may it revolutionize our lives and transform our lifestyle. We commit this time to you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Are we starting? Yes, Pastor. Yes. Okay. Tonight, we are going to talk about the word of testimony. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to the book of Revelation. That's the last book of the Bible. Usually, ang, ang may mindset tayo, no? Revelation, ang pinakamahirap na Bible. Uh, no, I don't think so. Ano bang Revelation? Ano ibig sabihin ng Revelation? To reveal. To reveal. So it's not to conceal, it's to reveal. And the thing is, when we read with the wrong mindset, mahirap to, and we get bogged down on the on the signs and the and the and what we see, the appearance, and we miss the whole point. This is the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. He wanted to reveal who he is. But tonight, I just want to use a passage again in line with what we are studying. It's in Revelation chapter 12. Verses 10 to 12. Revelation chapter 12, 10 to 12. I'm reading from the NLT, you know, New Living Translation. It says that, Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens. It has come at last. Salvation and power in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren or the accusers of our, the accuser of our brothers and sisters, in short, the accuser of the believers, has been thrown down to earth, the one who accuses them before God day and night. And they have defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by their testimony. Another version says they conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their life so much that they were afraid to die. Therefore, rejoice, O heavens. And you who live in the heavens, rejoice. But terror will come on the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you in great anger, knowing that he has little time. So here, I just want us to understand here. The accuser of the brethren is the devil. In kung minsan nagigilty ka, di ba? Nakukondemn ka. In Romans chapter 8 verse 1, it says, For there, for there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. May kilala ba kayong tao nung mahilig manumbong? Teacher, teacher! Si Mario, teacher, teacher, natutulog si Mel. May dalang, ano, may, may dalang pagkain na bawal sa, sa loob ng classroom. May mga ganun, di ba? We all all know some people who like to make some bong. Yun po ang trabaho at ang asal ng demonyo, ang satanas. That's why it's called the accuser of the brethren. Ang trabaho po niya is, sino akala mo? Paturo-turo ka ba? Hindi ka naman perfect eh. Di ba? Nag-away lang kayo kagabi? O kanina? 
O di ba? Umin ang ulo mo. Kanina habang nag-drive ka, may, may matulin na kinat ka. Oh. So, sometimes they make you... Ano, but then, we think that we have a, an advocate. We have a lawyer. And that is Jesus. Every time na he, the devil will... Satan will come to the Lord and say, Ito! Hindi perfect to. Ito, ganun, ganun, ganun. The de- uh, Jesus will just look, Abba, tell God, Abba, charge sa akin. I died for that. My blood covered. And because of what Jesus did on the cross, that's why we have communion also. We focus on what was done on the cross. Okay, bayat na yun. I-offset na yun. So, again, and yet, panay sumbong, panay pintas. Di ba kung minsan, uh, saka yung mga namimintas, mahilig, ano eh, meron, kay, meron kayong ginawang sampung bagay na magaganda. Isa lang beses na pumalpak, yun ang pag-usapan nila. Yun ang hindi nila malilimutan. And the thing is, the devil would like to remind you of your past. Dati, ganun ka rin eh. Dati, you know, don't allow that. You know, when, when, when Jesus took our sin away, There's a sign and no fishing. Don't bring it up again. That's why if you read the, the epistles of, uh, in, in Corinthians, the epistles of Paul to the Corinth church, uh, he said, I have wronged no one. Wala akong ginawang masama. Now, kung nabasa mo yun, kung minsan magtataka ka, anong, pinag-usap, mag, anong pinagsasabi mo? Di ba ikaw ang nagpa-persecute ng church nung, nung, nung para sa'yo ka pa? Paano mo sabihin, I have wronged no one? Di ba may kinalaman ka rin sa pagpatay kay Stephen? Di ba may kinalaman ka sa pagkulong ng mga mananampalataya? Paano mo pwedeng sabihin na I have wronged no one? Why? Because everything that was, was under the blood of Jesus. So every time the devil will remind you again, and if you have confessed your sin and stopped sinning, every time the devil reminds you of your past, remind him of his future. Bakit? Hindi maganda ang kinabukasan niya. He will be thrown to the lake of fire. But here, it shows us something very interesting. Dito, he was attacking the saints. He was attacking the believers. He was accusing them. And it says in verse 11, and they conquered him or they have defeated him. Dalong bagay. Anong sandata nila panlaban sa diablo, sa demonyo, sa satanas? By the blood of the Lamb, sa madaling salita, ang nagawa ni Jesus, ang sacrifice ni Jesus, ang buhay ni Jesus. Not because of my blood. The blood of the Lamb. It's innocent blood. Even if I shed my blood, it's not innocent blood. It's, it's that it's contaminated, but the blood of the Lamb, sinless was enough to wipe out all my sins. And by their testimony, the, the, another version says, by the word of their testimony. So, ito po, pinakamalakas ma, 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 pinaka na sandata na binabaliwala po natin. That's why sometimes, diba, if somebody's under threat, we plead the blood of the Lamb. Panginoon, hindi ko sinasabi, tama siya. But I pray for the blood of the Lamb to cover him. I plead the blood of the Lamb. Sometimes, you know, yung kasagsagan po ng COVID. Yun sa bahay namin, we're surrounded by COVID victims. Araw-araw po, may mga ambulansya, may DOH sa paligiran. Mukhang ano, anytime kami na ang next eh. And I have to plead the blood of the Lamb. I said, Lord, I draw the black line around our, 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 uh, bo- uh, our, the boundary of our property. And then, when my son, Josh, hit was hit with COVID, not once, but twice, and he was staying with me. His room is right beside me. Every time we go to my bedroom, we have to pass by his room. Everything, every time we come out of our, we have to pass by his room. And so that was very dangerous. What did we do? We pleaded the blood of the lamb. We prayed for him. We pleaded the blood of the lamb. Were we in fear? No. We were in high alert because that is spiritual warfare. And, uh, and dahil on quarantine siya, so my daughter and my, my wife would always bring a tray to his room, outside his room, kakato, iwanan niya. I took a lot of pictures, no? Why? 
Because every day, ang laman po ng food tray namin, maliban sa ulam, maliban sa kanin, mal- maliban sa soup, maliban sa dessert, may importante na plat dyan. Communion emblem. Automatic po yun. Why? We don't want just to be fearful. We want him to be reminded every time he will partake of the food, he will partake of the communion also and said, I remember what Christ has done on the cross. And you know what? He recovered while many of our friends did not. And thankfully, nothing happened to us. Nothing happened to us. Why? We pleaded the blood of the Lamb. Now, we have pleaded that. What is the next? We use the word of the testimony. Now, we testify about that. Not because ang, 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 ang tibay ng resistensya namin. No, no, no. We testify about the goodness of God. The mercy of God in preserving us from that. Why? Kasi kung minsan, the devil can... can oh, mahina pa lang pananampalataya mo eh. Na-COVID ka eh. But God preserve us, we survive. May antibody pa nga si Diyos. Actually, uh, do you know that in our house, everybody got hit by COVID except me? And I was the one going out every day. In fact, at one time when uh, I was meeting with several people and they all got hit. And so they were accusing me. Ako daw kasi ako. And then when I tested, negative. Why? I don't wait until I get I get hit, then I, I plead the blood of the lamb. I plead the blood of the lamb every day. Before you travel, when you wake up, we plead the blood of the lamb. Cover me, Lord Jesus. Cover me. Nasusunog yung kapitbahay namin. I draw a black line around the blood that seals the covenant. The black line about our, along our property line that the fire will not cross over. Bleed the blood of the lamb. But then when it's done, don't keep quiet. There's another thing that will silence the devil, that will defeat the devil. Hindi makikipag-debate yun. Ang ating patotoong. You know, ang problema po sa atin sa simbahan, o sino bang may patot- patotoo? Kung may lahat na, ano, no? uh, umiiwas at ma- 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 makakontact sa eye contact sa, sa pastor, baka tawagan sila. Eh. You know, dapat kung may ganun, lahat, you know, Unahan eh. Ako, ako, ako. Bakit? It's a privilege. It's a privilege. I, I will talk more about that later, but it is a privilege to testify. There is power. It's so powerful. It will defeat the devil. When the devil wanted to plant doubt on you, you, you testify. Why? Every time you testify, you, anong ibig sabihin ng testimony? Do it again. You are saying, Lord, do it again. Do it again. Pakita mo sa kanila. Gawin mo sa kanila. Sa buhay nila, maranasan din nila ang naranasan ko. Makikita nila o ma- ma- uh, ma- ma- maranasan nila ang nangyari sa akin. Maintindihan nila na ang kabutihan nyo, ang katapatan mo. And so, when we say we testify, we are saying, Lord, do it again. Do it again. That's why in our class, when somebody will testify, after the testimony, we always ask the person, can you release that to the class? Halimbawa, you said, God healed me. Naranasan mo yun eh. You have experienced that. You have grace in that. Okay, can you release the grace to the whole classroom? So yung mga iba may sakit or nag-struggle can receive that. Oh, the Lord provided for my need. Can you release that to other people? So God will also do it in their lives. So this is what it's all about. Para tayo, tahimik. Pagkatapos, the few people na sa church may mga ganun eh. Parati sila ang ano no? Pag nahawag ng pag nahawak ng microphone, ayaw bitawan. Ang haba, kalahating oras ang patotoo nila. Pero ang katotoonan man nila, hindi naman patungkol sa Panginoon. Dahil 80% pinag-usapan nila ang problema. Hindi, we don't dramatize that. Why can we, can, we can you, uh, testify using what we call popcorn testimony? Short lang. What is the most important? The Lord healed me. The Lord was faithful to me. The Lord provided for you. Ganun lang, hindi na kailangan. Alam mo, kamuntik na mo ko mamatay. You are not glorifying God. You are glorifying the devil. So ang tanong po, what is a testimony? Ano po ang patotoo? A testimony is an open declaration or profession 
pananalita or confession of a witness under oath or affirmation. Sa madaling salita, you're called on witness stand. You testify. If you, in, kung pinasinasabi mo ay hindi totoo, in the legal system, under the legal system, it's called perjury. Crime yun. That is serious uh, 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 crime. You can be locked up. But here, so you, you're saying that I'm a credible guy. I know what I am talking about. I witnessed that or I experienced that. That's why I'm a credible witness. I testify and my testimony will collaborate with the case, with the, uh, what the guy is claiming or the story. It will collaborate. It will support. It will, it will supplement. It will reinforce what is being said. In short, a testimony is a story, a narrative, a personal account. Hindi, hindi pa totoo yun. Sister Marie, Sister Marie, yun kakilala ko, may nangyari. No, no, no. Ang patotoo ay galing sa'yo. First person ang nangyari sa akin, okay? Of an experience of what God did for you that is consistent with what he said in the word. Alam mo, Sister Marie, tulad ng nangyari sa'yo, dati, sa ka, grabe ang kahirapan, ngunit naranasan mo ang, ang katapatan at kasaganaan ng Panginoon. Yun din po ang nangyari po sa amin. Oh, like how many times wala na kami makakain, umiiyak na ako sa Panginoon. Oh, Eh, Sister Cherry was about to call the friend. Sabi ko, don't call your 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 mother. Ha? Nakakahiya kasi mapright din ako eh. Di ba? Kahit na mamatay na sa gutom, wala. Sabi ko, eh, si Josh bata pa, two months old pa lang. Sabi ko, oh, at tanong ka lang sa kaklase mo, high school classmate, ng barkada mo, kung paano gumawa ng am. Dahil wala na kaming gatas eh. Nung tatawag na yun, dati ang ang telephone hindi dependot eh. Ganun pa eh. Landline. Habang nag nag doorbell so lumabas po siya. So he hung up. It was my high school friend na ilang taon ko na hindi nakita. More than 10 years na. Bit-bit, anim na jumbo na, na baby formula. Sabi, oh, dumaan lang ako dito. Naisip, uh, nag-shopping lang ko doon malapit sa inyo. Naisip ko kayo kasi alam ko dito kayo nakatira. Eh, kahit na malapit sa inyo, baka busy kayo. Kaya ito, para sa baby mo. Alam nyo, hindi na muna kami tinanong, hindi kami busy, wala lang pera. Hindi na kami, yun timing ba? Yun, yun tatawag na eh. Hindi yun, ay, cute naman, parang maiyak ka eh, dahil that, that was close eh. And then, what happened? Tamang brand. Hindi niya tinanong, ano ba ang brand ng baby mo? Wala ang dami saksakan kami ng mga ano so pabago-bago ang, ang ang ano iba-iba ang namin namin naranasan kung minsan inuulit ko po to at kung minsan sabi ng mga anak ko that ang dami na nangyari but parati yun sabi ko because of the impact on my life I, how can i forget that how can i forget na dapat i-abort ako at at somebody paid 3000 pesos so i would be preserved how can I forget that? How can I forget that this and that and so many things? So, and every time I share that, people will say, alam mo, na-encourage ako. Alam mo, malit lang, mas malit ang problema ko, nahirapan ako nung naralaman ko. Kung gagawin ng Panginoon sa'yo, kaya din gawin sa akin. So again, that, that encourages them. So, a testimony has three parts. Okay? I, I wish I have illustration board, no? A testimony has three parts. The first part is what 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 it was before. Say before. Type nyo, before. The second part is what it is after. After. Halimbawa, I was blind, but now I see. I was broke, but now the Lord has blessed me. Me pera na ako. Uh, 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 I, I was thrown out of my house, but now I have my own house. Uh, I had to walk to school, but now I have three cars. Yung mga ganun. So the first part is before. Sakitin ako eh. Sabi ng doktor, hindi ako aabot ng 10 years old. 
Ngayon, malusog na ako. And the third part is what happened in between. Between the before and after, may nangyari eh. And that is the gospel. That is the application of the gospel in your life. I was sick, but now I'm healthy. What happened? Jesus healed me. I prayed and Jesus healed me. That is the application because the Bible says he is the healer. He is good. He opens eyes. He's the lifter of your hand. So we, we, start, we started using the word and applying. So the three parts and the most important part is in palaman. Before, after, ang sandwich niya, eh, that's a gospel. The, the word of God in action. I, I, I like what uh, I, 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 I'm a sponsor of a very famous uh, TV series, the Christian TV. Uh, I don't want to publicly say that, but uh, uh, my family, we are, since day one, we have been sponsoring this and it has reached millions of people. No? Anyway, the character Mary, uh, there was this scene no? when uh, Nicodemus was looking for Mary, because he knew that she was Mary. Eh. Then, when he saw it, nabalitaan niya, magaling na daw siya, hindi na siya possess. So, nilapita, sabi niya, Pharisee kasi si Nicodemus, he tried to exorcise her. Akala niya, siya ang may kagagawan, kaya na-deliver. Hindi pala. So, tinanong niya, ah, hindi ako? Kasi sabi niya, so, anong nangyari? Pakatapos kitang in-exorcise. Sabi ko, ha? Wala na akong naintindihan. Wala naman nangyari. Eh, nung nagulat siya. So, tinanong, sabi niya, eh, so, ano nangyari? Jesus healed me. And then sabi niya, what happened? This is what she said. I was one way and now I'm completely different. And the thing that happened in between was him. In short, Jesus was the one who converted my before to after. And that is our gospel. And it, it, it can, you know, uh, uh, I'm... I'm I'm dwelling too much. I'm excited about this because why? All of us have a story to tell. All of us has a testimony to share. And if you want to experience more of God, huwag kayo madamot sa testimony niyo. Ikwento niyo, hindi po maubusan. The more you talk about that, the more you will be conditioned to sensitive and notice the fingerprints of God in every situation. Do you know that to share the testimony is a privilege? Hindi yung requirements. Nako, sabi ni Pastor, magsishare ako. Paano naman? Nako, walang tulog na naman to. No, no, no. Isipin niya, privilegio yun. Una-una, meron kang isishare. Ibig sabihin, may, may karanasan ka sa Panginoon. Pangalawa, just let it flow. Hindi yung dito na perfect English, perfect... No, 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 no. Speak from the heart. In Acts chapter 10, in Acts chapter 10, Verses 1 to 8. It says, In Caesarea, there lived a Roman army officer named Cornelius, who was a captain of the Italian regiment. He was a devout, God-fearing man, as was everyone in his household. He gave generously to the poor and prayed regularly to God. So, sa madaling salita, religiosong tao. One afternoon, about three o'clock, Three o'clock, he had a vision in which he saw an angel of God coming toward him. Cornelius, the angel said, Cornelius stared at him in terror. What is it, sir? He asked the angel, and the angel replied, Your prayer and gifts to the poor have been received by the Lord as an offering. Now, send some people to Joppa or Joppa and summon a name called Simon Peter. He is staying with Simon, a tanner, who lives near the seashore. As soon as the angel was gone, Cornelius called two of his household servants and a devout soldier, one of his attend, uh, personal attendants. He told them who, what had happened and sent them off to Yopa. Now, let's skip to verses 19 to 23. 19 to 23. Ang sabi po, meanwhile, ito naman. So ito nangyari sa nangyari sa bahay ni Cornelius. And then parang pelikula. Eh. Then zoom in naman ang next next scene na sa Yopa. Meanwhile, 
same time, no? As Peter was puzzling over the vision, the Holy Spirit said to him, three men have come looking for you. Get up, go downstairs, and go with them without hesitation. Don't worry, for I have sent them. So, the Holy Spirit, ang early warning system niya, hindi pa kumakatok yung tao. Kinausap na ng Holy Spirit na, oy, may darating na tatlong tao. So, Peter went down and said, I'm the one you're looking for. Why have you come? They said, we were sent by Cornelius, a Roman officer. He is a devout and God-fearing man, well-respected by all the Jews. A holy angel instructed him to summon you to his house so that he can hear your message or he can hear your testimony. So Peter invited the men to, the, to stay for the night. The next day, he went with them accompanied by some of the brothers from Yopan. Now, let's now skip again to verse 27 to 29. Acts chapter 10, verses 27 to 29. So, dumating na sila sa bahay ni Cornelius. So, they talked, nag-usap sila ni Cornelius. So, they talked together and went inside when many others were, were, many others were assembled. So, lumabas si Cornelius to welcome him. Nung pagpasok nila sa kwarto, marami palang bisita dyan. Peter told them, you know, it is against our laws for a Jewish man to enter a Gentile home like this or to associate with you. But God has shown me that I should no longer think of anyone as impure or unclean. So I came without objection as soon as I was sent here. Now, tell me why you sent for me. So dumating po siya pero hindi pa niya alam bakit. Ang sinabi lang po ng Espiritu Santo, oy, sumama ka sa kanila, ako ang nagpadala ng mga tao diyan. Sumama siya pero hindi na alam para ano? Ano bang agenda? Ano bang sasabihin ko? Wala. So he had to ask them, "Why do you send for me?" And then you notice something. Medyo komplikado 'to. Pwede naman i-simplify, di ba? Nag-involve ang Angel, kinausap si Cornelius. Sabi niya, mag-utos ka ng tao, magpadala ka ng tao sa Jopa. Nag-invoke din ang Spirito Santo. Kinausap naman si Pedro. Pag may dumating na tatlong tao, kahit na hindi hudyo yun, ako nagpadala. Sumama ka sa kanila. Upang makapag-share lang si Pedro kay Cornelius. Now, ang tanong, ba't ang daming kyaw-kyaw? Ang, ang, libot-libot pa, ba't hindi naman diretso? Ba't hindi na lang ang anghel mag-deliver ng message? Papuntahin pa sa Jopa, pakatapos papunta, papatawagan si Pedro para lang i-share na hindi na lang anghel. You know why? Because it is a, the test, sharing testimony is a privilege that is reserved only for human beings. The angel do not enjoy such a privilege. So dapat baguhin po natin ang ating pananaw tungkol sa patotoo. So pakitype lang po dyan. Testimony is a privilege. It is a privilege to share testimony. To testify of the goodness of God, of the power of God, of the faithfulness of God. Testimony is an experiential account. Experiential account of the gospel. Kasi pag nabasa tayo, di ba? O oh, God heals, God saves, amen. God provides, amen. But ang testimony is, God provided for me. God healed me. God saved me. It becomes personal. It now becomes your story. It now basically is how the word of God comes alive in my life. Naranasan ko yun. Natikman ko yun. Yun binabasa natin sa Bible. Nangyari sa amin yun. Nangyari sa pamilya. Sabi ng, ni Joshua 24 that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord or believe in the Lord Jesus Christ you and your house. Ilang taon ko pinag-pray ang aking ina. The more I pray, the worse she got. Many times I wanted to give up. Then I have to ask myself, dahil hindi ako makakapaghintay ng ilang taon, na nag-give up na ako. What is at stake? Eternity. What is few years compared to eternity? That's why my testimony is, my mother was a devout Buddhist. 
at the age of 17, practicing yun, talagang devout yun. O hindi ko makain ng baka, yung mga ganun. Ang daming, alam mo, hindi lang Buddhist sarado, Buddhist kandado pa. Anong po nangyari? Sa dami ng patotoo ko, at the age of 80 years old, 88-0, she accepted Jesus. Ilan taon pinakre? 28 years. Kaya huwag mong isipin na, Brother Willie, 22 months ko na pinagpag-pray. Wala. Mukhang wala na talaga. Mukhang demonyo na talaga. Hindi kaya ng Lord. No, no, no. Don't give up. Are you going to give them up for eternity? What is 28 years? It's like a blink compared to eternity. So never, never give up. Jesus never give up on us. God never give up on us. Don't give up on your, your loved ones. You claim them. And so when that happens to me, I share, ang patotoo ko. And I, when I share, basically I said, Lord, do it again. Yun ginawa mo sa buhay ko. Yun naranasan ko sa buhay ko. Sana maranasan din sa buhay nila. And the people who hear that, kami rin. And next, kami na ang susunod. So it, it, it encourages their faith, no? Uh, uh, so, uh, and unfortunately, testimony is one of the most neglected weapon in our arsenal. When the devil is tempting us, nakikipak debate tayo. Hindi hindi na we just overcome him, we defeat him by the word of our testimony. Basically, saying it comes alive. Uh, hindi did God will God really provide for us? And then you come to that, yes, he already provided for me. You know, when my, my daughter was in college, she was 18 years old at that time. And in college, in sa kolehyo niya, sa university, meron po siyang religion class. Religion class, pero ang tinuturo, unbelief. Ang sabi po ng professor nila, hindi totoo ang Biblia. Hindi totoo ang Diyos. Hindi totoo na kapag nanalangin ka, e eh mangyari. Paminsan-minsan, tsamba lang yun. Kaya huwag po kayo maniwala at uh, hindi totoo mga himala. So tinanong, gusto niya, in a way, pinipressure na piniput on spot bawat student. Sabi niya, naniniwala ka ba? So takot yung mga estudyante. Hindi po. Yan, yun ang, yun ang may utak. Hindi ka basta-basta ano, uh, sumusunod. Yun, you're a thinker. Ganun-ganun lahat-lahat. Nung umabot sa anak ko, sabi niya, Sir, you are late. What? Sabi niya, you are late. You are 18 years too late. Nagulay yung professor. Why? Sabi niya, for the past 18 years, I have heard my parents testify share what God did in our family. And I have personally, because of their testimony, I have experienced it myself. I have testimony too. And she came to share with the class. Alam mo, natameme yun, professor. Kasi ngayon, hindi lang nakikipagdebate ayon sa Biblia, ayon sa isang aklat. Buhay na nang ni Hazel eh. You cannot tell me I did not get healed. Naranasan ko yun eh. Yung mga nangyari sa akin, nawala na, you know. I'm the exhibit A. So, because of the credibility of her testimony, the gospel becomes credible and the, the classmate approach her many times and then, hey, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? I also have the same doubt. I also have the same struggle. What did she say? 18 years too late. Why? She grew up hearing testimony hearing and witnessing what happened to us. Because I share, I don't keep quiet eh. Kung minsan madabot tayo, hindi na natin alam na ito hindi lang para sa atin eh. Ang patotoo, ang tinatawag natin ay ang ano bang crumbs? Tira-tira ng grasya ng Panginoon. The, the, the testimony is the crumbs of grace. Alam niyo po, di ba? Jesus, we, we studied last year that Jesus paid the 5,000 using the five loaves and two fish. And when everybody ate and was full, sabi ni Jesus, Teka, teka, huwag muna kayo umalis. Pick up the crumbs. Do not let it go to waste. And they gather 12 basket full of crumbs. Pang ano yun mga tira-tira? 
Papakainin nila sa ibang tao. Kahit na maliliit lang yun, makakabusog din. A collection of crumbs is equivalent to one who lo. Parang ano, di ba? Ayaw ko ng bensin ko. Ayaw ko. Gusto ko isang daan. Eh pero pag iniipon-ipon mo at marami na, aabot ka rin ng isang daan at sobra-sobra pa. Marami lang. Pero pag inipon mo, katumbas din ang halaga ng isang papel, ng isang bill. So again, that is what testimony is all about. That's why do not allow the devil to trick you na Paano ka mag-share? Wala ka naman alam eh. Bakit? Nag-Bible school ka ba? May Master of Divinity ka ba? May PhD ka ba? Nag-aral ka ba ng Greek? Nag-aral ka ba ng, ng, ng Hebrew? Anong, anong kwalifikasyon mo mag-share? You share, start with your testimony. This is what Jesus did to me. I once was lost but now am saved. Was blind but now I see. Kung ano, ah, dati babaero ako, dati sugarol ako, dati lasenggo ako, dati whatever. But now, God has changed me. God has changed me. And so when you, when you share your testimony, nobody can say, I disagree with that. You can disagree all you want. It is my story for His glory. Why? It happened to me. I'm telling, I know what I'm talking about because this is my life. This is what well, a testimony highlights the goodness and faithfulness of God. How powerful is a testimony? Napaka napaka uh, pang may kapangyarihan. It, that's why it defeated, it conquered Satan. Hindi lang one of the minions sa Satan himself, the big boss ng mga demonyo. Our testimony, our word of testimony carries the anointing and the power of salvation. In short. It can serve as a catalyst for revival. Dahil sa isang, isang tao lang nagpatotoo, makaka-impact ang buong grupong tao. Halimbawa, in John, in the Gospel of John, John chapter 4, verses 39 to 42. Remember the story when Jesus was dumaan po sa Samaria? And there was a Samaritan woman by the well, uh, nagdodraw, and Jesus asked, him, asked her for a drink. And the Samaritan woman said, ba't kinakausap mo ako? Makaaway tayo eh. Yun, yun, yun mga Hudyo at Samaritan, magkagalit yun eh. Sabi niya, eh, ano, eh, kung, kung alam mo lang sinong kinakausap mo, siguro maghingi ka ng ano, uh, buhay na tubig. Sabi niya, ah, may ganun ba? Oh, para hindi na ako mag-iigip araw-araw. Sige, sige. So that, that's how the conversation is. And that, when Jesus finally said, eh, tawagan mo ngayon Asawa mo, sabi niya, asawa, wala akong asawa, single pa ako. Sabi ng Panginoon, sa bagay, totoo din, pero sa totoo, may limang asawa. One at a time ka nga. May one, pero one at a time. So may lima, you know, in, in that time culture, that is a scandal. So nagulat siya, imbis na nagalit siya, nagulat. Kasi ka, sikreto na yun eh, walang nakakaalam. Kaya sabi niya, propeta ka siguro. First time lang tayo mamit eh. And this is the rest of the story. So kinento niya sa tumakbo siya sa, sa, sa bilis na wala po ang hiya. When a person is delivered from sin, they can talk about it without being ashamed, without being guilty. Bakit? Pinaklaya na ng Panginoon eh. Parang scarpet lahat, diba? Kahit na ito, nung nagdapa ako, ganun, ganun, hindi na masakit eh. Pwede palupaluin mo, pakita mo, pangit lang, may peklat, pero wala nang sakit. Bakit? You were healed. A scar is a proof that you have overcome. Same thing, a testimony is a proof that you have experienced and you have overcome. And that's what the Samaritan women, woman did. He went to town and said, Alam mo! I sleep around. Hindi na isip, anda ko, masisira ang reputasyon. Sinabi niya, alam mo, lahat ko yun ito, lahat tungkol sa akin, yung mga chismis niyo, totoo yun. At itong tao, alam niya ang lahat. It says here, in a chapter, uh, John chapter 4, to 42. So there were many from the Samaritan village who became believer in Jesus because of the woman's testimony. Na, naniwala, na nampalataya, <coughs> dahil sa kanyang patotoo. Ha? <laughs> Wow, meron tayong Messiah. Meron tayong Diyos. He told them everything I ever did. This is the testimony of the 
woman. And because of that, the, the, the people, many from the Samaritan village who became believer, then they begged Jesus to stay with them. So Jesus stayed there two more days, resulting in many more coming to faith in him because of his teaching. In short, <coughs> nakaroon ang revival ang Samaria. Dahil lang sa isang patotoo, dumami. Kung ibang tao na si, meron silang mga patotoo. <coughs> Ibang-ibang version patungkol sa salita ng Diyos. Then, the Samaritans said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you told us, <coughs> but now we have heard him ourselves and are convinced that he really is the true Savior of the Lord. In short, tinanggap na namin, meron na rin kaming sariling story. Meron na rin kaming sariling experience. Meron na rin kami sariling testimony. So in this story, you see that a testimony will create hunger in the Lord. Nung kinento niya, lahat dumagsa eh. Tingnan nga natin kung sinong tao na to. A testimony encourages people to believe and trust God. Kung, kung mangyari yun sa iyo. And next, God can always do it. Lord, kung pinagaling mo siya, kaya mo rin gawin sa akin. Lord, if you provide it for Brother Willie, I know you will provide for me because there is you, you don't play favoritism. A revival, uh, a testimony sparks revival fire. Kahit na isa lang, isang isa, a testimony is like a drop of water that creates ripple. You know, the other day I was just reading a book. No, it's just a short, a uh, small book. Uh, I, when I got it uh, uh, in less than an hour, I finished reading this. This is about. Ang title is God's Forgotten Woman of Switzerland. This is about a woman na hindi kilala, hindi sikat, na halungkat lang nila yung storya niya. Anong ginawa niya? Wala siyang pera, medyo ano. And he lives in a very remote place in Switzerland. In parang probinsyanong probinsyano. And God told him to told her to start taking care of the sick people. And he started, and before long, he started the healing room. Yung bahay niya, healing home, healing room. So, lahat ng sickness, pupunta. Ang gagawin lang niya, pag-pray lang niya. Until gumaling yung mga iba, tatlong linggo sa kanya. Until, but sa ang araw-araw, pinapakain ng salita ng Diyos. You know, just pray with them, share with them the word, until their faith grow. And yet, when she died, She has never left her village. Hindi nakakapag-abroad. Ngunit, ang temp- he started a template sa mga ginawa niya, sinundan ng iba-ibang bansa ang nagawa niya. Anong nangyari? Testimony of one person. Because of the testimony of faith and obedience that inspired other people. Yung mga nahil, pag-alis nila, bit-bit nila yung storya nila, kunento nila sa Amerika, kunento nila sa Great Britain. And doon, nasusulputan din mga healing rooms and healing. Why? Because of one testimony. So do not allow the devil to, to belittle your testimony. Huwag ka kwento, kakahiya lang. The Lord provided for your pamasahe. Makano lang pamasahe? Ben, ben 5? 30 lang? Maliit lang yung nakakahiya. Dapat kung million-million, doon, doon. You never know. Kahit na sabihin, the Lord provided me 10 millions, hindi makakaredit sa mga sobrang hirap na sampung piso lang, hirap na hirap na eh, na, na to stretch their faith to believe that God will provide sampung, li, uh, sampung piso eh. So, don't overwhelm kasi ang problema sa atin, gusto lang natin yung dramatic, spectacular. No, the spectacular is not always supernatural. Sometimes as simple as, you know, tinapay lang, walang palaman, gutom na gutom ako, may nag alok ng tubig, walang flavor, walang ice, tubig lang. Pero nabuhay ako, mamamatay na ako sa uhaw. You know, when you share that, you don't know the impact of those who are talagang sa laylayan, talagang desperate na. That gives them hope. And that is the effect of the testimony. It glorifies God. It glorifies God. In Luke chapter 18, I have to go very fast. Luke chapter 18, Verses uh, 35 to 43. This is talking about how Jesus healed a person. No? It says that as Jesus approached Jerusalem, a blind man was sitting by the road begging. May nag-lilimus yun mga isang-isang bulag. 
hearing a crowd passing by, he inquired what was happening. Nagtanong, ano-anong ba't ang maingay? Sabi niya, dumadaan si Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth is passing by, they told him. So, sumigaw po siya. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, anak ni David, maawa ka naman sa akin. Then, those in front of him told him to be quiet. Tahimik! Shh! Ang ginawa, hindi siya tumahimik dahil buo ang kanyang pananampalataya. But he kept crying out all the more, lalong nilakas niya ang tawag niya at ang ingay niya. Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped, narinig ni Jesus eh, and commanded that he be brought to him. Pakikuha lang yung tao. Yung tao. When he came closer, he said, what do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see. Diba? Last week, nabanggit ko. Ang mga bulak, meron uniform yun eh. They wear a cloth. Para alam ng tao, bulak yun para kung ano, tumatabi para hindi naman siya mauntog ma- ma- o ma- ma- matisot. So, tumatabi yun. So, obvious, no? When, when he was brought, alam naman ni Jesus, makikitang kita, bulak yun eh. Ngunit, tinanong pa ni Jesus, ano bang gustong gawin ko sa'yo? Sabi niya, gusto makakita. Kasi, ibig malaman ng Panginoon, kasi mga iba, ah, kailangan ko ng pera. Kasi pulubi siya eh. But here we are, some people, di ba, if you ask the poor people, what do you want? They always ask for money instead of education. If you are not educated, you cannot work. If you cannot work, you cannot have money. But most of us are short-sighted. We just want to treat the symptoms. Walang pera, walang pera. Hindi naman root cause. What causes you not to have money. Same thing. He did not say, I want to have money. He knows, I, I have no money because I cannot work. I cannot work because I cannot see. So he said, I want to see. And Jesus said, receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. Bakit? Your faith is strong enough to deal with the root cause, not just with the symptoms of your problem. Instantly, verse 43, he could see and he began to follow him, glorifying God. All the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Nangyari sa isang tao. Pero yung mga nakasaksi, sila din pumpuri sa Panginoon. Yun po ang impact, ang effect ng patotoo. Na-inspired yung tao eh. Because a testimony inspires other to faith. Man, mininiwala din ako. A testimony encourages others to trust and believe in God. A testimony stirs up worship and praise. Oh, purihin Panginoon, napakabuti ng Diyos. Grabe talaga, wala akong masabi. A testimony reminds others to look for the fingerprints of God in their own life. Ako kaya, meron ba? Lord, siguro meron, no? Kasi kung hindi, di matagal na akong patay. Buhay pa ako eh. Siguro may nagawa ka sa akin. Siguro meron kang protection na hindi ko, pan, hindi ko napansin. And siguro meron kang provide sa akin na hindi ko lang pinansin na binabaliwala ko lang. Eh, the fact na may trabaho ako, biyaya yun eh. Eh, imbis na magpasalamat po ako sa iyo, kung minsan mareklamo pa ako, kung maliit lang sahot, sungit-sungit ang boss ko, eh kung mawalan ka ng trabaho, mabait nga ang boss mo, pero walang maibayad sa iyo. Di ba? We, we tend to, we tend to, ano, so a testimony will remind other people to look for the fingerprints of God in their own lives. A, a testimony will spread among your own sphere of influence. Yung mga, sa paligiran mo, yung mga tao sa umaaligid sa iyo, ma-affect that din sila, ma-inspire din sila, ma- you, can, you can spread it, that testimony. In Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10, Uh, this is the story of Zacchaeus. No? Yung pandak na tax collector na salot sa bayan, no? galit ng mga hudyo sa kanya kasi trader, kasi he's working for the Romans collecting taxes and overcharging them. Takot sila dahil may kapangyarihan pero galit. Wala siyang masyadong kaibigan. So anyway, Jesus just invited himself and said, hey, He was climbing up the, mount, uh, the, the tree looking at him kasi maliit lang siya eh. Nung nakita ng, ni Jesus, huminto, sabi niya, Sakeos, baba ka nga dito. Punta ko sa bahay mo. Mag-fellowship tayo. Maghahapunan ako sa inyo. So, 
tuwang-tuwa yun, no? So, uh, out of that, he was so thankful for the, hindi siya kinondem ng Panginoon, hindi ng Panginoon, repent or you will go to hell. Hindi. He said, I'm going to your house. Why? Remember we talk about, in Romans, the goodness or the kindness of God leads men to repentance. Imbis na kinondem siya, the Lord showed goodness. And he was convicted, not condemned, convicted. So, Zacchaeus stood up nung, nung in-invite, uh, tuwang-tuwa, puno-puno ng pasasalamat. So, tumayo siya sa, 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 sa in front of the guest. Sino bang guest? Hindi mga religious people. Galit nga, madumi nga siya, makasalanan eh. Hindi ibang tax collectors. Yung mga kasama niya sa BIR, IRS, or whatever, di ba? And Jesus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, I will give half of my possession to the poor Lord. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I will pay back four times as much. Hindi naman hiningi ng Panginoon yun eh. Bakit? Pinansin niyo po ako eh. Nakatikim ako sa iyong kabutihan. In this, napintasan mo ako. Kinibiganin mo pa ako. Today, Jesus answered, Salvation has come to this house. He did not say, today salvation has come to your life, to this house. Why? More than one people live in the house. In short, his family experienced that. They were in fact. So don't, don't think because of the patotoo na hindi ma-influence ibang tao. The people around you, uh, in your offices, in your school, in your neighborhood, in your house, in your family, will be affected because of what happened to you. Halimbawa, you're dying of cancer and the Lord miraculously heal you. Kahit nagalit sa yung kapatid mo, magugulat din eh. Pinagaling, akala ko mamamatay na eh. Ganun ba? Magbabago sila. Bakit? Because of your testimony. Alam niyo, in Acts chapter 8 verse 4, this is the time about persecution. I always I also talk about that before. Di ba? There was a persecution in Jerusalem, no? Bago pa, sanggol pa ang church, early years, uh, early days of the church, no? The members are mostly new Christians. This is shortly after the day of Pentecost. In Acts 2, this is Acts 8, no? Six chapters later, make persecution. It says that although the believers were scattered by persecution, they preached the wonderful news of the word of God wherever they go. In Acts 8 verse 1, it says that on that day, a great persecution broke out against the church in Jerusalem. And all except the apostles were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria. And you know, verse 4, and wherever the, 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 the believers went, they preached the wonderful news of the word of God wherever they went. Now, tanong, sila ba ay nag-Bible school na? May six months training na ba sila? Tinuro ba namang hermeneutics and homiletics? Nang Old Testament survey? ng Hebrew, wala. So, anong, an- anong doktrina tinuturo nila? And I like what one Greek term said. They, it, say, it says, they preach the wonderful news. The Greek meaning is they gossip. So, yung mga marites dyan, may pag-asa ka. Baguhin mo yung mga chinichismis mo imbis na patungkol sa kapitbahay na hindi mo naman sigurado kung totoo o hindi. Chismisan mo yung salita ng Diyos. Chismisan mo yung nangyari sa iyo kung paano pinalaya ang Panginoon sa pagkakachismosa. Yun. And then, kung ako, talagang pinanganak akong chismosa, ngayon hindi na. You know, kung di po yung nipakasa pa rin ako. You know, it gives hope to people. And so that was what happened. Here, we see that the task of spreading the word was carried by the believers. All of them were new converts. Yung mga veterano, yung mga alagat ni Jesus, lahat na iwan sa Jerusalem. Eh. So Christianity, the people responsible for spreading Christianity were not the seasoned leaders. They were the nobodies. The faceless and nameless. Why? They just shared their story. Bagamat wala, hindi ko pa nabasa buong Biblia, basta isishare ko lang ang, 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 ang application ng itong verse na to sa buhay ko. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you and your household shall be saved. Yun lang, kasi nasave yung pamilya ko kahit nasira ulo ko eh. 
you know, the devil would say, ah, you're not good enough. Look, even a child can share about what happened. And nobody can question you. Why? It's your story for his glory. Everybody has a story. Hindi lang kwentuhan, kwento namin tatlo. Kayo din po, maraming story. Okay? Uh, and when you, when, when you testify what you were before meeting Christ, and what you have become after meeting Christ, tulad na sinabi ko, in between is the gospel. What happened? Christ forgave me. Christ removed my guilt. Christ removed my shame. Christ redeemed. That is the gospel. That is the actual application. So when you share that in a personal context, nobody can argue. So halimbawa, kung, kung sasabihin ko, oh, the Bible says uh, God heals. And Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The theologians will, will argue with you. No, the age of miracle has stopped with, with the passing of the apostles. But if you said, God healed me. Oh, ano? Makikibak-debate ka ba? Ako yun eh. Itong, itong mga biopsy ko, itong mga CT scan ko, itong mga x-ray ko, itong mga sinabi ng doktor, itong mga picture ko dati, oh, kalansay na ako, skin and bone. Ito ang, ang taning na binigay sa, ng, ng doktor isang taon lamang. At ito ako ngayon. Who can argue with you? Kahit na limang PhD, hindi makakapag-argue. Why? It is your story. It happened to you. That is the actual application and realization of the goodness of God. Kaya, mga, mga kapatid, huwag po kayong mahiya to share your testimony There is no testimony too low, too small, too humble. Every testimony, because of the word of God in action, has power. It is powerful. Remember, the believers defeated and conquered Satan using the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. So, what is the life application? You will notice that in focus nyo magbabago, If you keep sharing what God did to your life, as you, why? Magbabago yun kasi ha, the more you talk about it, the more you become sensitive, the more you will, you will always look for the fingerprints of God in your life. And the more you do that, unting-unting magbabago ang pananalita mo. Di ba tayo mga Pilipino mareklamo? Walang pera, mainit, matraffic, corrupt ang gobyerno, pero tayo nagbibigay, naglalagay, Oh, tayo hindi natin sinusundan yung batas trapiko oh, pero pala kasalanan lahat ng tao tayo lang walang kasalanan di ba yun ang ugali natin but when we start sharing the goodness of God we notice that our speech will change and, and, and being thankful is no longer a struggle why? we have shifted we have shifted people say brother Willie how can I be more sensitive to the Lord Talk more about what he did on your life, not in your life, and not what your problem is. What you focus on will grow. You magnify what you focus on. You keep talking about your problem, your problem will not disappear. Nobody solves problem by talking about problem. You solve problem by looking for solution, by exploring solution, by talking about solution. So stop feeding yourself. The more you talk about problem, wala na parang kamay, di ba? Kung ganun lang nakikita mo, wala ka nang makita ng ibang bagay. Kasi malapit, the poorest problema na. But when you put it aside, you can put it in proper context. Uy, may paraan pa pala dito. Nandito daw ang susi. Eh, tandado, nasa mukha ko. Nandito, na, nasa box lang pala yung susi niya. Eh. And then that would change you. So again, fill your mouth with the word of testimony. And, and, and you will realize that you become a different person. And you begin to see beyond the problem. Itong problema ko, pero you begin to see beyond the problem. Dati, ano eh, I live for one day at a time. I could not see life beyond that. I was so broke. People were saying, you know, uh, makakaraos ka rin. Paano makaraos? Tatawa ka, hinahabog na ako ng bangko. Yun, yung cheque po, namumutok, kala mo, oh, firecracker eh, pok ng pok eh. Oh. And when people said, the Lord will bless you, alam mo, na-offend ako. Hindi nga nga ako makabayad sa sabihin mo the Lord will, will provide for me na aahon din ako. In five, six years later, that started slowly. 
that started stalling. So as a consequence, as a result, you attract people because they feel good around you. If you keep talking about your problem, kahit na kamag-anak mo, mawawala sila, eh, matidisappear, biglang malaman mo, kala ko malaking angkan ko, wala pala akong kamag-anak. But if you are pleasant, always testify, kahit na hindi mo kilala, tatawa, tatawa, ano, tatawa ka, kaibigan ko itong matalik, eh, paano? You attract people, you give them hope. Eh. Ang sabi ng mga hindi na napalta, positive vibes, good vibes ka daw. Actually, because you, 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 you emit a fragrant a fragrance of the goodness of God in your life. So, when we testify, we have two choices lang. Tayo kasi, when we talk, we are testifying. Good or bad. When we talk, we only talk about two things, the good or the bad, the problem or the solution. So, in short, we are testifying either for God or for the devil. Alam mo, Napa, no, meron na akong kamag-anak, no? I mean, after a while, hindi na nakakatawa eh. Nakakainis na eh. Araw-araw, I mean, walang paltos yun na tuwing umaga. Dati, pag-ising, good morning! Ganun. Wala pag-ising na pa, kapubuksan ng pinto, ang buka bibig niya. Hindi ako makakatulog. Late na ako makakatulog. Ang sakit-sakit ng balakan ko. Walang paltos yun. Walang paltos yun. To the extent na umagang umaga, mag-good morning, ang, 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 ang greeting sa'yo, hindi makakaka. It affects. And when you do that, what are you at? Every time you do that, naka-high five yung mga demonyo. Why? You're fixated on Him. You're glorifying Him. Why? Their job is to make your life miserable. So every time you talk about problems, they accomplish their purpose. But every time you talk about the breakthrough, the even baby steps of, of solution, of, of, of extension, of grace, of mercy, of provision, of protection, of answer prayer, of favor, of encouragement, of inspiration, of hope. Kahit na hope lang, you glorify God. Mga magulang at kapatid, lalo mga magulang, mga misis, mareklamo tayo eh. Yung asawa ko, Tatamat-tamat. Malit lang sahod. Ang lalaki naman po, mga mister, mareklamo din. Misis ko, kung ano-ano, hindi marunong magluto o hindi masarap, eh paano? Kunti lang sahod mo. But if you always think that, you know, just like it, sometimes I have to correct my grandson, Rafa, eh, kasi we're teaching him to pray. So, okay, you pray, Rafa. So he will say, Lord, we thank you for your food, for providing for us, for gan-gan. After that, in Jesus' name, amen. Pagbukasan, I don't like that food. You just thank God for that. What happened? There's a disconnect. When we pray, we say one thing, and then when we open, it does not influence us. So again, we have to change that. Remember, are we testifying for the devil or for God? We have only two choices. There's no third option. When we keep magnifying the problem, number one, we're not solving the problem. We're magnifying it. And so you're glorifying Satan. Oh, tuwang-tuwa yun. You know, mukhang mamamatay na ako eh. Sabi kasi ng doctor, one year na ako eh. At lalong mag-ano. But if you, if you, if you, if you said, I shall live and not die and proclaim the word of God, then you, you, set your faith in operation, then you glorify God. Thanksgiving and testimony is very much related. If you are really, really thankful, there's a sound. May boses po ang pasasalamat sa pamamagitan ng patotoo. If you are thankful, hindi ka maka, 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 makatimpi. Kung ikukwento at ikukwento mo eh. Bakit? Umaapaw to. Alam mo, ang buti ng Diyos itong ginawa na sa akin. Hindi, takot ka na malaman ng iba. No? So that's why, if you have a good story, if you have an experience with God, if you have a testimony, share it. Maybe hindi ka pa nakagraduate sa sitwasyon mo. One day at a time. One problem at a time. One step at a time. Alam mo, halimbawa, may utang kang isang million. Biglang may bonus kang 2,000, nakabayad naka, naka ka ng 2,000, di kaltas ng... You talk about it. 
Kahit na may utang pa tayo, malaki pa rin. Pero unti-unti. Sabi nga, papanong kainin ang isang daga, ang isang elepante? Ang sagot, one bite at a time. Kasi kung uh, hindi kaya yun, ang laki-laki, kasi iniisip mo, one, isang subo eh. Ah, hindi kaya. Pero kung one bite at a time, eventually, over time, mauubos din yun. Same thing. Eh, we celebrate every step of victory. Kahit na nandoon pa, hindi pa tayo nag-graduate. Hindi pa tayo nakakaahon. One day at a time, we celebrate that we thank God for this, we thank God for that. If you have nothing to thank God financially, you thank God for your health, you thank God for your children, you thank God for your wife, you thank God for whatever you have. And then you will notice, nagbabago. That testimony is building and strengthening you. We struggle to testify. Testify because we are oblivious to notice God's moving in our life. Kasi kung napapansin natin yung kilos ng Panginoon sa buhay natin, hindi tayo matigilan eh. Kahit nasabihin, tama na, tama na. You keep wanting to share eh. Bakit? Parang, parang yan. Sabi ng anak, that siguro na alam na ng buong mundo yung story mo. Hindi mo ako mapigilan eh. Ito ang story ng buhay ko eh. But the good thing also about testimony is hindi kailangan lumang tutugin. Yung mga the big ones, you always talk, like you always talk about how God healed Hannah. You always talk about your, your early days na wala kang makakain na karne. E kung, yun, yun, kung once a year lang may, may pagkakataon ka kumain ng, ng manok, display na pa ng isang linggo para alam ng buong barangay na may, may karne kayo. You know, bakit? Ngayon, you can buy a poultry, many poultry farm. Di ba? Pero why, why do you talk about kasi at your lowest time, you will. So there are certain testimony na lifelong testimony mo. Pero may mga ano ka, oh, last week, blinis ng Panginoon anak ko, nakapag-Singapore sila. Last week, yung mga ganun. So, so may mga ganun. Pero there are certain testimony, hindi lalaos. May mga, so hindi, hindi, hindi rin tayong ano. Kaya, actually, every believer, every day we should, our challenge to ourselves as, as, as a practice to develop new habit, Why don't you try to think of new testimony every day? Alam mo, kagabi, galing kami sa Nueva Ecija, pagod na pagod ako. Thank God, nakauwi kami. Ligtas. Wala nangyari. Alam mo, ang lakas ng ulan, pero nakaabot kami sa ano. Alam mo, in wife ko ang nag-drive eh. Nakakatakot yun, pero nakatulog akong mahimbing. Salamat sa just sa protection. Yung mga ganun, na, 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 and that will, you don't know. You don't know who needs to hear that. Every time I share, somebody would approach me. You know, that is what I needed to hear. Grabe, na-remind ako. You, you encourage my faith. So, and you will notice something. God uses the most unlikely conduit. Yun binabaliwala, Samaritan woman. Oh, cast yun eh. Hindi lang Samaritan. Babae pa. Sa kultura nila, wala. Not credible yun. And yet, God used that. God used Mary to tell the apostles, Jesus is alive. He, used, he uses the most unlikely. If God would use those people, God would use you. God would use me. God would use us. Hindi ako kilala eh. Hindi kailangan. Ang important na kilala nila ang Panginoon ng buhay niyo. Ang, 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 ang central figure ng iyong patotoo. Lahat po tayo may storya. Sana ang storya natin ay isi-share, iti-testify, isi-share natin para sa kaluwalhatian ng Panginoon. Kaya ang mga marites dyan, maka, posible magiging banal na marites, a sanctified marites, a life-giving marites. Baguhin mo lang yung chinichismis nyo. Chismis nyo ang nang, nagawa ng, ka, ng Panginoon sa, alam mo, taas ng lagnan ng baby ko eh. Hindi malaman, pati doktor, pinag-pray namin, salamat sa Diyos. Gumaling, gumis, nagising kanina, nawala ng lagnat. Alam mo, suka ng sumuka, ng suka, di namin alam, dinala namin sa klinik, walang magagawa, pinauwi din kami. So pray na lang kami na salamat at nahil. Dapat ano eh, dapat uh, may, may board exam sana anak ko, kaya lang hindi makapag-review kasi kulang ang pera namin. Pero salamat at pumasa rin. Hindi po tayo 
maubusan ng patotoo. Huwag lang natin, di pa, malit lang yun eh. Malit lang, baliwala yun eh. 20 pesos, sumala yun. No, no, no. There is nothing too small. Because we are not talking about the size of the gift. We are talking about the generosity, the goodness, and the faithfulness of God. And every time we testify about the goodness of God, sinasampal natin, binabatukan natin ang satanas. Why? That's what the saints did. They conquered him. They defeated him. They overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. May our word testify of the might, of the goodness, of the power, of the love, of the grace, of the mercy, of the faithfulness of God. Thank you very much. Praise God. Napakabuti po ng Diyos, no? Ate Cleo, Kuya Jojo, Ate Marcel. Um, Pasa kanina nung sinasabi mo na develop a list of your testimony. Yung mga baby steps na gagawin natin, ano? Um, ye- a year ago when we conceived Red Talks, we don't know yet what is the, ano, what is the... Ano ba yung meet nung, nung, or yung ating niche or sinasabi nila na ano ba yung mensahe ni Lord sa Red Talks? Nag-evolve na lang bigla yung word na kwentuhan. No? And you were talking about it uh, earlier in, in your message, Pastor, na ito po pala yun, Lord, na word of testimony. Yes. Napaka-importante. And several verses, Pastor, that you mentioned here, from Acts to Revelation to John, these are all beautiful testimonies during the time of our Lord Jesus. So, um, mga kapatid, mga kapamilya, yun pong kwentuhan-kwentuhan natin every TTH, it is not an accident word. Yung divine marites, sanctified marites, ito po pala yung isa sa mga life purpose natin. No, kukukwentuhan mo si nanay sa katabi mo na nangyari na eh. Nakapasa ako ng English. Dati hindi ko alam ang verb at saka noun. Pero bakit A plus ako? Praise God. No? Most of the time, kinukwento ko kay brother Mel, Mel, walang taxi. Umuulan. Pero lumapag sa harapan ko ang taxi. Just lang talaga ang pwedeng gumawa niyan. These are small yet very valuable sa ating Panginoong Jesus. So I encourage everyone to dig more on that particular <coughs> accounts. I-account po natin at sampalin batukan natin yung kalaban sa ating mga istorya ng kwentuhan. Within your family dinner table, kwentuhan kwentuhan ng word of testimony ng kabutihan ng iisang Diyos ang Diyos ni Jacob ang Diyos ni Isaac ito po yung pinagkukwentuhan natin for almost two years nandito po tayo sa Red Talks it is not an accident that all of us are coming here together but the world will know that through you Kuya Jojo Through you, Ate Charito. Through you, Kuya Elorde. Through you, Ate Belen. Your small testimony will impact the lives of many. Will transform a family. You don't need to have a live Facebook. Kung sino po'y katabi nyo, within, within your reach, yung driver ng Grab, yung delivery ng Lalamove, Those are the people you say, Kuya, ang bilis-bilis naman ng delivery ng Jollibee because of you. Napakabuti ng Diyos dahil bubusugin niya ako ng delivery. Those simple talks with delivery guys. Bitawan mo 20 pesos na pang tip dyan kapatid kasi babalik ng multiple times sa'yo yan. That will impact the lives of many. Brother Mel, last, last Thursday, last Thursday, Uh, nung uh, magkasama po kami ni Hana at saka ni Rom, senior ni Hana yung isang patutuon niya. No? Na because of yung karanasan niya, nung she went to uh, 
hospital, heart center yata yun. At may isang bata na ano, and she was able to share that, so, you know, kung kaya ko, kaya mo rin. Ganun lang. Hindi na sayang, hindi lang para sa kanya lang. Binihagi niya ang, kan- ang-, ang napulot niyang uh, le- leksyon sa kanyang uh, karanasan at binihagi niya, hindi lamang sa bata, pati ang magulang ng bata. Ganun po ka, kalakas ang kapangyarihan ng, at pursa ng patotoo. Amen. And you know, si Kuya Jojo from Cebu, I know marami kang listahan dyan, Jojo Altisola ng Cebu, no? It's time for the people to know the goodness of God through your life. Di ba, Kuya Saldi? Ikaw din, Ati Lucita Arsanan, Ati Charito, lahat po tayo dito, no? So, Word of Testimony, Episode 8. Brother Mel, ano masasabi mo? <laughs> oh, napakaganda po itong topic natin ngayon. No? At saka yung testimony, kasi sabi nga ni Pastor kanina, hindi naman kailangan yung spectacular yung, ano mo, yung testimony mo. Yung mag-glorify lang si Lord. Ano? Kahit nga yung date sa Bible, may nabasa ako dito sa Bible. So actually, ito, may inaanok ka rin, binabasa-basa ko dito. May tanong dito yung mga disciples eh. Sabi niya, Jesus is a blind man. Sabi, Jesus healed the man who was born blind. Sabi dito. Sabi dito, kung misa kasi nahihiya tayo sa testimony natin, baka mahusgahan tayo eh. Ano? Sabi dito ng mga ano, ng mga, why this man born blind? Sabi ng mga ano, mga, ng mga ano dito, mga disciple naman na nagtanong dito kay, kay Jesus, ano? Was it because of his own sin? Oh. or his parents see. Oh. May mga naguhusga kasi, uh, kasi no. Uh, pero siya, ang sinagot dito ni, ni ni Jesus it was not because of his sin or parents sin. Jesus answered, this happened so that the power of God could be seen in him. Amen. Yan. Oh. Ito sinasabi ni Pastor na ano eh yung uh, alas yung paki-alam. Kung minsan kasi ganito eh dito Hinusgahan pa si Jesus dito ng mga ano eh, ng mga parisi. Hindi ika ano, makajus yung ginawa ni Jesus Christ dyan. Kasi during the Sabah niya ginawa. Parang kuminsan yung healing at uh, ano, yung uh, right healing at the wrong time. Parang gano'n, oh, di ba? Pero sabi dito na, sabi dito ni ano, si, si, maka ilan-ilan tanongin dito ng ano, ng, ng sa ano na to, no? Basahin nyo to sa John 9. Yan. No? Andyan din yan sa uh, kwento ni Pastor Tanina. Uh, dito rin sa kwento ni Pastor dito. Kaya lang pinaanohan ni Pastor dito. Wala na akong pakialam kung sinner siya. Sabi nung blind dito. But I know this. I am blind and now I can see. Amen. Yun yung testimony niya. Yun Amen. yung uh, pinakaano niya. So tayo, kung minsan, nahihiya tayo, katulad ng ano, kung itong bulag eh, meron siyang testimony, tayo pang nakakakita. Amen. Di ba? Mm. Tayo pang normal. Mm. Yung ang bulag, meron ano eh, meron uh, testimony. testimony. So tayo, marami tayong testimony, kaya lang kung minsan nahihiya tayo. Yeah. Gusto so, natin itago yung yeah. katotohanan na binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na 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 patunayan na, na, na nagkaroon ng bahagi ang Diyos sa atin sa pero kung sa buhay natin pero kung minsan ano tayo eh nahihiya. medyo nahihiya tayo na ilabas huwag po natin isipin na masasayang o baliwala lang yun trust God mm. God knows what He's doing the mm. reason why God ordained our testimonies to be so powerful is He knows it's never about me it's never about us It's about the people who needs to hear it. You know, when I was bankrupt and my, I, I was being attacked, I was in depression. Kasi wala, bankrupt ako. Wala ako mapakaan. Limang taon, walang laman yung, 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 yung pantry namin. And yet, we never miss a meal. And there were times when I was struggling and getting so depressed. And then, biglang may dumaan sa, sa harapan ko, truck nakasulat, the Lord is my shepherd. And ana, right after that, pag ganun ko, followed, that's a traffic makasunod pero ibang kumpanya God will provide alam mo umiyak ako dahil dyan may, alam ba yung may ari wala maybe they just felt late lagyan natin to it's you know God alone knows who needs to read that who needs to be reminded of that at his time 
God knows that. So same thing. Yung patotoo po natin, hindi yung maliit. Ama, alam ng Panginoon yung ginagawa niya. There are some people in this world that needs to know, to hear your story because mm-hmm. your story is exactly what they are struggling right now. And by sharing your little, little, no, little victory, you actually have great impact on their lives. Allow God to use you. When we are humble enough to offer up our testimony to glorify God, God will do great things with our testimony. Wow. Ang sarap. Ayaw pa po sana naming matapos, kaya lang overtime na po tayo. At hindi pa rin nagdi-dinner si Pastor. Ano? At I'm sure some of you are the, haven't taken their dinner yet, but what a beautiful dinner tonight. A spiritual dinner. No? At ito po yung ikukwento natin sa ating mga magulang, sa ating mga kaklase. Ang word of testimony, ito po ang red talks. Ito yung every TTH nating pakikipagkwentuhan sa ating Panginoong Jesus vertically. So tonight, I hope you got a piece of the blessing of the bigger, the big pie that we are sharing here. Ito po yung pinag, pinagsasalusaluhan natin every TTH ito iso po ito sa mga meat ito yung word of testimony so tonight we want to thank the lord for releasing his message once again alam niyo po kami ni brother mel kanina pa lang umaga pinagkukuwentuhan na namin tong word of testimony kasi excited kami i-catch yung ano yung blessing ni lord no and many more testimonies are lined up in your life the best is yet to come sa bahay niyo, Sister Jane. To come to you, Sister V. Marami pa po kayong testimony. The best is yet to come. And so tonight, we encourage you to reply and share and tag our link so that many will witness, will testify on the goodness of God. Kwentuhan, kwentuhan, kwentuhan ng pag-ibig ng ating Panginoon. Ito po ang Red Talks tonight. Divine Marites, Sanctified Marites. Ito po ang isa sa ating mga hashtag or mga keywords. Let us ask Pastor Willie to close us in prayer. We want to th- we want to tell you that we love you so much. So join us as we close in prayer our episode 8, Word of Testimony. Ate Marie, why don't you pray? Oh, sige po. Oh, sige po. Okay po. Hallelujah. Sabay-sabay po tayong manalangin. Father God, we want to thank you. We want to tell you that we love you so much. And every TTH that we come here together as Red Talks family, Father God, we want to let you know that it is a privilege to talk to you every TTH. It is a privilege to encounter you. And so tonight, we want to thank you for your message. And Lord, It will not stop in the TTH and it will not stop in the people that are watching right now. Your words will be spread. It will infect many people. Tonight, Lord, thank you for the courage that we will have the least. We will have an account of your goodness in our lives. And little by little, step by step, we will catch one person at a time and tell your goodness. Word of the testimony, Father God. If in the past, Lord, we don't have the courage, thank you that we release, you released us tonight. That we will be deployed from the 30 to 50s families that are regularly watching our Red Talks, ang aming pong munting kwentuhan. Tonight is the night that we will be deployed from the people around us. We will tell your goodness, Lord. Thank you. Panginoon. Lord, we pray for the rest of those people that are watching, that are listening by replays, that they will intimately talk to you about the account of your goodness in their lives. And those stories will be spread out till we reach the ends of the earth. We want to thank you for The rest of the Red Talks team, magmula po kay Hana at kay Rome, ganun din kay Joss at kina Sister Cherry and all the Chua family, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us 
thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be an ambassador of your love. So tonight, Lord, we want to thank you. We want to tell you that we love you. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are so happy to be here. And we will see you on Thursday for our graduation rites of the Word series. We will have once again our communion night. And you know, by now, I hope na ikwento nyo na po ng maraming kwentuhan ang power of communion sa inyo pong mag, mga anak magmula sa kay ate at kuya at ganun din sa mga extended families. Ito po ang Red Talks. Pastor Willie, last word po. Yes. Always remember, nasa atin po ang sandata upang talunin ang kalaban. And it is in the word of our testimony. May God be glorified every time we open our mouth. Good night po. Good night. Good night. Mahal po Good night. namin kayo, Brad. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Good night po. Mahal po namin kayo. Good night po. <laughs>